So, as everyone has probably already heard, the PlayStation Plus collection is going away, which a lot of people are depressed about for some reason, including me. Anyways, if you didn't already know because of the title, this video is going to cover the American Express Platinum version of the PlayStation, PlayStation Plus. In long terms, and I'm reading from PlayStation here, you can enjoy hundreds of PS5, PS4, and classic PlayStation games and unmissable benefits from three great value membership plans that unleash the power of your PlayStation console. Unleashing the power of your PlayStation console? The acting list is going to turn into Communist Russia when all it really is going to do is take money every month for people only to not use like half of the features that should be for already free anyways, like game trials and classic games, keeping in mind that the classic games are like older than PlayStation Plus itself. Like Hot Shots Golf 2 from 1999. But going back to the PlayStation Plus collection leaving is definitely just going to hurt PlayStation and us. They'll be losing profit from people not buying PlayStation Plus and they'll be making us less likely to buy games as a whole because who would want to pay full price for a game when it was like a few days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries, eons, time itself ago it was free. So, I think that PlayStation is probably going to start losing players who are going to go to Xbox because Xbox still has Game Pass, which, to be honest, if you're not a main PlayStation player, is probably a better investment than PlayStation Plus, especially after what they're going to do to it after May 9th. Oh wait, is my favorite game show on? Well, I want you guys to see this too, let's take a look. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our hit game show. How overpriced will this game be after PlayStation removes the ability to buy these games for free with PlayStation Plus? Let's start with our first game, Batman Arkham Knight. Of course, it's free right now, but without the PlayStation Plus collection, it's $20. That is too much for a game that was released 8 years ago. Let's continue with the next game, Mortal Kombat 10. Again, it's free right now, but without the PlayStation Plus collection, it's again $20. That's $20 on a game that should be free. And last, but certainly not least, our last game, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Right now, it's free, but without the PlayStation Plus collection, it's $38. That is actually genuinely baffling considering it's free right now. So yeah, I guess it all comes down to what happens after May 9th. We'll see what happens, but players should just get another feature like the PlayStation Plus collection, but again, I guess we'll see. So, with that, thank you guys for watching this short video on a pretty big issue, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay slimy.